When you take the leap to get away from the big smoke for the peace and the quiet, you don't want that tranquility threatened, even if it's from the church. I don't think it should be used for any commercial purpose whatsoever. I think the road and the position is not fit for purpose. You just can't avoid the fact that it's going to affect our lovely, quiet, rural area. It's the humble shed hopeful to soon be a holy home. But not if these locals have their way. Just say no! Pastor Gary Levens is the man who created Dayborough Church in the town north of Brisbane. For eight years, it's been running out of the local school. But now they're hoping this paddock will soon be their permanent home. This was the one that came up at the time we were looking and uh, we like the exposure and the visual exposure of the site. But it's got the neighbours in an unholy row. Just say no! This group want their local council to knock back the application to change the zoning on the rural residential land to allow the church to proceed. It's neither rural or residential. Um, and not only that, there's huge traffic implications. The plan includes keeping all the buildings on the site as they are, but adding a balcony to the main shed along with a kitchen and bathrooms. They'll also include parking for more than 50 cars and a new driveway off the side road, plus approval to hold a Sunday morning service with up to 120 people. Robin Chapman says they all moved here for the peace and quiet, which would be shattered if the development is approved. The applicant is a church. That's irrelevant to us. But the fact is, it will be noisy. The proposed church site sits on Mount Mee Road, a popular weekend tourist drive for thousands of motorists through the mountains here. But locals here fear if it's approved, this intersection could become a disaster point. People are going to die at this intersection. Someone's going to smack into their car. Their car was uh, smack into my daughter on a horse. Kelly Frampton has started a petition which now has more than 2,000 signatures against the church, which has plans to operate seven days a week. She says it could turn into a mega church. I thought they were mad. It's a recipe for disaster. She fears the extra traffic on the side road, which is single lane in parts, will put too many people at risk, including those like her daughter Lily, who rides horses in the area. The cars, they come really fast up this road and some people don't know to slow down. I think it would be catastrophic and I'm really worried for my safety and the kids' safety. Kelly Gursky has lived in the area for 18 years and is opposite the church site. She says the area should stay rural residential. I've never been opposed to other people having a piece of, of Davra, but what I'm opposed to is a big commercial operation. But Pastor Gary says fear not. We're not going to be enormous and noisy. We're quiet and peaceful. He says they've put in months of work with engineers to make sure there's a plan for proper noise insulation and traffic. You know, the traffic engineers, they said it will increase the traffic by 5%, which is not much. He says rumours they'll be erecting a giant illuminated sign is far from the truth. Um, we will just have a simple sign on a piece of white board with uh, Debra Church written in black paint. No illumination. The pastor concedes the busy intersection is what attracted them to the site to bring more people in to hear the good word. We have a lot of people who have come alongside and said, great what you're doing, we love what you're doing. So it's, it's not just one-sided. More than 200 submissions have been lodged with the council, which will ultimately decide on the application. But Pastor Gary believes he's in with a chance. So I believe in God. I've seen a lot of things that didn't seem as though they would ever come to pass that have come to pass, so we're hopeful.